Good evening, everyone. I'm Kamran Anchev. ESPN? Check. Yahoo? Check. The New York Times Square ticker? You bet. The A-State auction has got everyone going crazy and it's received plenty of national attention. On Thursday, the auction went from $2,500 to more than $11,000. But the past two days, no one has bid. It's currently at $11,700. But auctions aside, the Red Wolves return to the field Monday for their second scrimmage. Monday, we'll... The defense stops them on third down, we'll come off the field. If they get a turnover, we'll come off. It'll be more true game situations. And then we'll, we'll have some red zone stuff. We'll have some score zone stuff. We'll, we'll have a backed up series, a two minute. We'll do some situational stuff, but it'll be, uh, it'll be the first time we've really allowed uh, you know, sudden change type situations and defense to get off the field in three plays. Uh, and just see how the, that changes the momentum of, of the scrimmage. The Red Bulls baseball team rallied late to beat South Alabama 3-2 and take two out of three for the series. Dustin Jones tied the game in the seventh with an RBI single, and Zach Maggio won it in the ninth with an RBI double. Morgan Croft picked up a seventh save, while Bradley Wallace allowed just two runs and struck out a season-high seven batters in his six innings of work. A-State is 10-5 in conference and second place in the Sun Belt. The number 24 Diamond Hogs beat number 8 LSU 10-4 to avoid the sweep. Blake Baxendale had a grand slam and a career-high five RBI in the win. Eric Fisher also hit his third home run of the series. And get this, all three home runs came in the fifth inning this weekend. From college baseball to the pros, as the Cardinals played the rubber game in their three-game set against the Cubs. Students, Michael Walker has been nothing to short to of spectacular for St. Louis. But in the Rizzo. first, Anthony Rizzo the gets to him Dean with a two-run homer. And in a second, you're going to check out this old lady dancing. I can relate to her as we are both Cubs fans in Cardinal country. In the second inning, the cards would come right back as Matt Carpenter singles up the middle. Two runs will come around to score, and the game is tied at two. Next batter, Colton Wong. He singles to the right side. Carpenter comes on down to score, and the Redbirds are up 3-2. But in the third, rain would come, and we'd have a delay. The two teams would get back at it in the fourth. And the game is now tied at three, and Matt Carpenter hits one out to left. And we're going to have a play at the plate. Peter Borges is going to be safe at home. Cards take a 4-3 lead, and they win 6-4. The Braves hosted the Nationals in the first. Justin Upton hits the ball up in the air, deep to center. Will it ever come down? And the answer is yes. Finally comes down for a two-run homer. Aaron Harang allowed just one run in six innings. His ERA actually went up to 0.96. In the second, Freddie Freeman is going to hit a towering fly ball. And just like Upton, this ball was up there forever. The moonshot is gone if it's fair. And fair it is, gone it is. Braves win 10-2. The Rangers and Astros were involved in a good old-fashioned Texas pitching duel. Martin Perez throws eight scoreless innings for the Rangers. The only run in the game would come on Danny Murphy's sack fly in the sixth as Josh Wilson is going to come in to score the game-winning run, and the Rangers win 1-0. Bud Tropo of 95.3 Sports Show, the front row with Bud Row raised a little bit more than $3,000 this weekend for the American Cancer Society. Tropo received pledges for each free throw he made. Tropel, excuse me, I'm sorry, made 36 out of 50 free throws. Tropel's free throws have raised close to $9,000 the past four years. The people in this area are so giving and they care so much about everybody else and they're trying to help everybody else. And uh, on my show, we pray for everybody. We raise money for people. We support each other. We get on each other during a show, but we're all a family. And it's just so special for me that everybody just came through. Finally, in preps, it's time to determine the final spot on the 2014 Fast Break Super Team. You can choose the Boys Coach of the Year. There are eight finalists to choose from. Five of them won state championships this season. The third time was a charm for West Swift. Jonesboro took the 6A crown last month. Some of the other finalists are Dwight Lofton of Forest City, Brooklyn's Bobby Gross, Isaac Middlebrooks of Cedar Ridge, BIC's Bill Taylor, and Matt Pitts of Thayer. Head to the KIT.com sports page. The poll closes today at 6. And at 10, Brandy, I'll have highlights of the Grizzlies. You're from Memphis. They've got three games to go, and they're a half game ahead of the final and eighth playoff spot out west. Should be a good game. They're playing the Lakers tonight. Should be. All right. We'll be right back.